With the November election just days away now, the stakes are higher than ever. And in the race for attorney general, dark money is fueling the fight. Now the state's largest utility is getting in the game, but one candidate is turning down their donation. ABC 15 investigator Lauren Gilger will tell you why. Shock and disgust. That's how Democratic candidate for Attorney General the Felicia Rodolini reacted when she learned the parent company of APS, Pinnacle West Capital, donated $125,000 to campaign against her. I could not believe that they didn't want to support me and that they would be willing to make blatant lies against me. Rodolini says she learned of the donation after she met with APS and they offered her a donation of about $4,500 from their pack. Now she's turning it down. I've seen what APS's contributions to the dark money groups have done to attack people, to uh, attack me with false lies. Uh, I'm not going to accept that kind of money. Um, they're not part of my campaign. Her campaign filed a complaint against Pinnacle West, alleging their contribution to the National Republican Attorney General's Association was illegally earmarked for the Arizona branch to fund an attack ad against her. That's wrong, and we need to do something about that. Why? Turns out the AG's office reviews and approves any rules the Corporation Commission wants to create. And the Corporation Commission regulates APS, our state's largest power utility. I think there's some concerns about the solar rules and the repeal of the solar rules and the Attorney General's office role in overseeing that review and repeal process. APS would only tell us they don't comment on individual contributions, but they support any party's cause that's pro-business and, quote, supportive of a sustainable energy future for Arizona. The Arizona branch of the Republican Attorney General's Association has spent an astonishing $2.4 million attacking Rodolini. They've also spent about $40,000 supporting her opponent, Republican Mark Burnovich. We reached out to the Burnovich campaign, but they declined to comment on this story since they are not a subject of the complaint. I'm investigator Lauren Gilger, ABC 15 News.